I'm going to show you how to use Loop Cloud to make a drum and bass groove in minutes from a library of over 3.5 million samples. Let's take a look. A good place to start can just be to select the drum and bass tag in the genres category, which adds it to the search field, and so brings up not just samples, but also any relevant sample packs. So I could select this kick pack, and then choose any of the kick samples below, and then sequence it into one of the DNB kick patterns in the editor. And for track two, I'll add a snare by typing snare into the search field and choosing the tag. Then again, I'll choose a sample and have it sequenced into one of the DNB patterns. Track three is going to be a hi hat. So I'll select one again. But this time, I'll go for a regular eighth note pattern. But I'll just adjust the levels of some of the hats to change the groove up. And maybe try a different hat too. And bring down the hat level with the slider. Next up, a shaker. And I'll go for a loop this time. Bring it down a touch. And then try out some of the different ones from the results. Now let's get some bass in there. I'll start off with a loop initially, and I'll match the tempo to make sure the BPM's right. But now I've found a sample I'm liking, I'm going to set the editor to just a bar long, so I can create a simpler pattern. And then I'll use the pencil tool to draw an extra slice, which I'll make a beat and a half long. And get rid of the first bit. And trim the last one so it ends on that second snare but then duplicate that slice to add another one. And the scrub tool is great here for changing the part of the sample in a slice. Now I'll select the whole lot and duplicate it out to two bars. And then mute the slice at the very end to create a bit of space. I feel like this could do with a pad next, so I'll add that tag, staying on loops. And the really useful thing here is that I know the key of the bass line, which is F sharp, so I can use the editor's auto key facility to automatically retune loops to F sharp. Might go for something a bit less complex. Maybe darker. Yeah, like these. And for this last sound, I'll get a bit more adventurous with the editor and create my own custom pattern. So I'm searching for a lead one shot. Which I'll retune to F sharp once again but I'll trim down the sample so it's just a sixteenth in length. And try a different sample. And now I'll select three sixteenths on the grid and then duplicate it out to make a two bar phrase with a cross rhythm. But what I'll do now is switch to the re-pitch tool and then have the slices ascending in pitch across the phrase.
and if I hit the FX edit switch, I can add some reverb to it. And once I've browsed through samples to make sure everything's sounding just right, as this is all in the cloud currently, don't forget, I can then buy any that aren't from my library, then download them and drag them out as individual or combined loops, all sequenced and processed with effects straight into my door. Loop Cloud helps you manage your sounds, find new inspiration and download and customize sounds and samples from Loop Master's entire library. Download the free version today or take the 30 day trial, which lets you use all of the features and gives you two gigabyte of free sounds and 300 points. Check it out at loopcloud.com.